Hello and welcome to another Scottcast Battle Report. Today, WTC style, using my Wayland Utani mat and my Wayland Utani terrain from the WTC. I'm playing against Chaos Knights. Let's dive in. The Dark Tier. Another battle report, another competitive WTC style game. I'm playing Jeff. Hi! <laughs> and uh, he's running his Chaos Knights, and I'm running the Drukari uh, revamped list after the uh, GT that I went to, where I got my golden ticket to go to the World Championships of Warhammer, which I'm really excited about. Uh, uh, we're playing, let's go over the mission, let's go over the armies, and we'll dive right in. Here is 2,000 points of Drukari. Based on my experience so far, I've once again gone back to double beast pack, as you can see. However, Lilith has been amazing in the games I've played, so she gets at it. And I also painted the new Lilith, because why not? Oh, check her out. She looks so cool. Absolutely love her. She is a badass. Uh, then we've got two Archons. The Warlord has the Nightmare Shroud. Two units of Incubi. Only five racks, but I've still got the three Mandrakes. Three units of Scourge, one of them with Haywires, two of them with Lances. Ten witches to go with Lilith. A Kronos, a Raider. Two full units of Cabalite Warriors. Four Venoms. And then, of course, to round it out, I actually had enough points. I put in a single Talos with Twin Haywire, a Twin Liquefire Gun, and a Talos Gauntlet. So there you have it. 2,000 points on the nose. A little bit revamped for my GT list. Let's take a look at what Jeff brought. Keeping it simple, we got Chaos Knights, we got five Brigands, five Carnivores, and a Lancer. No enhancements, all out of line of sight shots. That's it. Today's mission, take and hold, chilling rain, search and destroy. We are playing on medium one, which is map number three for um, search and destroy, basically. So uh, our captain, Dustin Henshaw from the Stutter Scrub podcast, decided to give us that mission to practice. So that's what we're going to do today. We are back after deployment. Um, of course, in terms of, I decided to be attacker to force Jeff to deploy first because he doesn't have any infiltrators or scouts. Nope. He put one brigand in reserve because he knows that playing against me is bad news bears if uh, you put too much in reserve. That's correct. But he wants to keep me honest. He wants to keep me screening. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going tactical and he's the defender. I'm going... Um, Fixed. Fixed. Bring it down and deploy teleport homers because it sort of like plays itself well into this matchup. Um, and that's that. In terms of deployment, there's a bunch of knights on here. I'm just going to make sure he's in the deployment zone. Done. I'm already cheating. <laughs> so you've got brigand, brigand. Carnivore, 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 carnivore. Brigand, brigand back there. Carnivore, lancer. And then one brigand in strategic reserves. I've decided to put my one Talos over here to move up and be able to see that guy. The unit of Incubi with my Archon over here. I've got one Beast back here. Haywire Scourge, the Kronos. Unit of Rax to be able to run up and just press buttons in the middle if I need to. Another Beast pack, another unit of Incubi. Then I've got one Scarry Boat that's a Venom filled with guns. Touching that objective to sticky it. One over here to move on to that one to potentially sticky it. Two Mandrakes back here, Lith and Witches. Two units of Scourge with Lances. One that can move to the other side of this building to be able to see that one. And then one that can move this way and can see the Lancer. Um, and then one unit of Mandrakes over here. There you have it. The game is set. So with that, we're going to roll to see who goes first. Ha! I rolled a five. I rolled three. Well, that is Drukari turn. Numero N. Well, let's dive in. Numero N. <laughs> I don't have to worry about cards. I'm playing fixed. We each get a command point. And let's dive in to the movement phase. Turn one. I've decided to get aggressive. I just want to see what happens. The beast packs advance, scout it up. And then I move this one 12. Their job is to go and tag brigands uh, just to make them, you know, not be able to fall back and do stuff, basically. And don't just like that. Put a little bit of a screen there. Um, because I took deploy teleport homers, this unit advanced. They do have assault weapons. So they're just creating another screen, and then I'm going to press buttons with that unit to get me a full deploy teleport homers. I've got as many guns as I can pointing in the right direction to things. <laughs> got Haywire's over here. Uh, he can see through the window with his little tail, which is nice. So I'm going to try and kill that carnivore. 
And then I've got some dark lances and, and stuff to kill, to at least damage that carnivore and potentially even do some damage to the lancer. But that's pretty much it. I've just kind of screened out. I've got uh, just kind of put the pressure on. I have a very simple game plan, which is kill knights and press buttons in his deployment zone or the middle of the table. So as long as I can do that every turn, I'm just going to score points. And that's the whole point of the game plan into an army like this. So with that, let's go into the shooting pits. End of the turn, pretty straightforward. Um, this Haywire unit did 15 damage to that carnivore and just <laughs> nuked it. And then this Talos did six damage to the Lancer. <laughs> I love Twin Linked Haywire, it's so good. Um, and one then, of us likes it. I, one of us likes it. Jeff's like, no, get that out of here. Um, over here, we've got so the Beast Pack. I tied up that and put three damage on it. Um, and then I also tied up that Brigands, which really helps the push around this flank over here. And then over here, they just press buttons and did deploy teleport homers in Jeff's deployment zone. However, I only did six damage to that uh, Carnivore with, my, with all my Lances, and they did nothing to the uh, Lancer with their Lances. Yeah, let's go to the scoreboard. You did not use your CP? I did not. I did not use my CP. Uh, primary does not matter right now. I will get four points for deployed teleport homers, and I killed one big tank, which brings me up to seven, seven. Uh, secondary points there. So we will go on to your turn number one. We each get a command point. Moving on. And your cards. Would you like to cut, sir? No, I'm good. I'm good. You can go ahead. Okay, kill oh. stuff on objectives, and get into the middle of the board and kill my racks. Excellent. With that, on to your turn one. What was your plan, Jeff, and has it worked so far? Uh, my plan was to get rid of the beast packs because they're just going to keep penning me in. And You've almost buttons. killed one beast pack. Almost killed one piece back. This guy is left. They'll be dead yep. after the charge phase. Hopefully. You will 100%. Well, yeah, unless you roll terrible to hit. <laughs> it's been known to happen. Use the Knight of Shades or whatever to get yep. through the wall with him because you've got airy denial. So you're going to try and kill all the racks. You should be able to. You get a free tank shock and, you, yeah. and uh, all your sweep attacks. Other than that, you did kill the Haywire Scourge, which was the smart choice. Yep. And other than that, it's the only casualty that you've done so far. Correct. Um, however, you will more than likely kill the two beast packs. So it with is that, just allowing me to get out of my deployment zone. <laughs> yeah, that's what I use them for. Just literally stop them from being here, right? That's, that's the key. So uh, onto the charge phase, we'll come back at the end of the turn. Well, they died to a carnivore. They died to a carnivore. They died to just the tank, tank shot because it's 20 some dice and I failed pretty much every field thing. So that gave me a pain token. So on to the scoreboard, you do get three points for overwhelming force, for, and you get five points for air denial, bring you up to eight, keeping the game nice and close. So with that, you still have a CP. I do. We go to battle round number two. I hold two objectives, so I will go to 10 primary points over here. Uh, I go up to three command points, you go up to two command points. And I have a very simple plan. You do. Um, I'm going to be pulling up my mandrakes, and uh, we'll be coming down and doing stuff with them. Okay. Well, the Lancer is in a position where you're kind of like forcing my hand to try yep. to deal with him. He's got, what, 18 wounds left? 19. 19 wounds. He's got 25 normally. Nice. Okay. Let's do that. End of the movement phase. I've decided to commit. I'm going to try and do as much damage as I can as much as possible make it a fast game yeah you know what we're gonna see like and because i was i went first i need to put the pressure on and keep you back as mm -hmm. much as possible so the more i just put roadblocks in front of you the harder it is for you to kind of get back into the game but if i stay back too much and don't and play more conservatively you get board position and that's not good yep i do have to sort of deal with him so i put lilith I've got a raider that can get them. I've got all the mandrakes that can shoot them and them. I've got like the scourge with lances. I got the incubi out. I spent a CP to move this venom up and disembark so they can charge in as well. There's a, I brought in one of my reserves over here to screen out from your reserve. So your reserve can only come in like that back part of the corner. Um, and yeah, I've got my little Cabalite squad units out. I've got, anyway, so we're going to do some shooting. We're going to see what happens. You know what's going to happen? Uh, He's going to explode and kill your whole Oh body. my gosh, is he D6? D6 plus 2. <laughs> plus 2? Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I did put a Venom over there to touch that uh, deployment zone, so I get another full deployed teleport homers with a Venom, which is exciting. 
Okay, with that, let's uh, get into it. End of the shooting phase, I was able to kill the Lancer, but it did take almost all my shooting. I also killed the Wounded Carnivore as well. And now I've got some charges to make. So I've got Incubi and Incubi. If they fail their charges, they can always just hop back into their Venoms. So I'm not too worried about them failing their charges. Um, but I've got basically a lot of points, and so I don't really need to spend overspend CP. I had to disembark Lilith just in case. So she might take one turn of just getting absolutely shut up, but that is okay. I'm not too worried about it. So with that, though, we're going to go ahead with this charge over here, just into the one brigand. And they make it. Ooh. Would you like to heroically intervene with the carnivore? Since you do have two CP, so it would be all of your CP. Ta-da! Let's... I'll let you think about it. End of the fight phase, so you did heroically intervene here. He failed his battle shock test because of the Incubi. However, he did kill all the Incubi. Correct. Uh, I did kill that Brigand. I killed that Brigand and then tied up that Brigand over there. And then that Brigand exploded and did damage to everything around it. That did not explode, though. And then my Cabalite Warriors popped back into their Venoms to be nice and safe, or relatively safe, from the shooting. So with that, let's go to the scoreboard. So this round, I killed one... Two, three baby knights and a big knight. That's 17. 17. Makes me up to 17. 17. Total. And then I did another deploy teleport homes in your deployment zone, which means you have to 25 secondary points uh, in terms of uh, killing knights, which is kind of what it is. And with that, we go into your turn number two. You get a command point. I get a command point. And then you do get five points for mm. primary. Sad. As we move on to your cards, bring it down, and no prisoners. Oh, kill stuff. Kill stuff. And uh, all my little transports, which I have put in a nice position for you this time. And he's you no have. longer battle shock. That was only the incubi doing work. But there. you owe me a battle shock here. I, as in your turn that I, that happens. Nope. Oh, cool. There. You go. No. At minus one. <laughs> Leadership six on all dark elder stuff, which is really cool, except for the beast. Oh, you're right. No, it's, never mind. Monster. Your turn. It's only on my turn. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will take that as a pass in my turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. With that, let's move on to the knights and see what they can do. So, with that, what is on your mind as we go into your uh, second turn? My second turn. Your vehicles are a problem. Uh, reducing your mobility slightly is the name of the game right now. So, with bring it down, uh, I'm going to try to go for two vehicles, possibly three on a charge. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to leave that one alive. I'm just going to charge it to take that objective away from you so you're not holding three on your turn. Yep. Uh, I'm going to shoot this first with that brigand. If they get out, I can put all my out of line of sight shots into the unit that gets Little out. Little havoc launchers, yep. Uh, possibly make a charge, depending if you come here to take that objective away from you. If not, go into this vehicle mm -hmm. and then deal with them. Stay in combat you're with your You're going to charge as a carnivore coming around here to you charge the incubi. And then you brought him in from reserve because you know if you don't bring him in now, he's probably never going to come in. Correct. He's just going to come in further back. Correct. And further back. So it makes like sense. Carnivore needs to stay on the table. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. You were cheating again? Oh, oh my God. And you're within an inch. What is this madness? Madness, I say. Anyway. I, don't, I don't measure. <laughs> so with that, let's do some shooting. We'll come back. Look who's still alive. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> you did kill that venom, though. I did. However, that... You missed with both your melted gun shots. Uh, yeah. And then put it down to two wounds, and then all of the other Havoc so only put one more wound on it. So that little Venom has a little horseshoe stuck up somewhere that uh, is good for him. It's okay. earned my ire. <laughs> so with that, let's do some charges. You've got that guy going to get me off a 15. That one there. And then there. you want to charge that, and that there, there, and then that Carnivore into that other Venom as well. Okay, and then we'll come back and uh, go to the scoreboard. That Archon failed his first shadow field save and died. It was wonderful. And this Archon lived with one wound and did not fail a single shadow field save. Correct. Which was great, because I made him take a bunch of armor saves. Um, and then this did nothing, just got onto that objective. So with that, you will get five points for no prisoners. You will kill, you kill two Venoms for bringing it down. So it's five points for that one. So that's five points for that. Uh, yes, because it's two, two, and five. So you get 10 points in total, bring you up to 18 secondary points. You're still... Really getting so spicy okay. with the secondaries here. You haven't used your CP. So with that, we go into round number three. Um, I get a command point. You get a command point. And I will get another 10 on primary because I don't have 15. However, that's just how that looks right now. 
and we'll basically get some. I'm, my my goal is to push you down to another five. Like that archon's going to stay there. Probably going to happen. I do owe you a couple of battle shock tests. You do. So I negative my one, archon please. over there, uh, the one that has one wound left, he fails. Yes. He is battle shocked. Are you going to terror shades him? I might. <laughs> Just to kill him. <laughs> Don't uh, do it. When do you do that? Is that done? Uh, that is done now. Yeah, it? as soon as I fail my battle shock, I'm pretty sure. And then you could heal one of your knights too. You have a pistol, so you could do. I have a pistol. I'm gonna terror shade you. No, don't do it. Let's <laughs> see. No, my shadow field. How dare you? This is on threes too, right? Uh, so fours, I believe. Oh, is it on? Fours? Yeah, four plus. Okay. Six dice, four plus. And He's oh, dead. he dies. Oh. <laughs> and then you heal him up. I do, by four. Yep, he heals. No cap on the healing with that strat, which is actually really, really good. Well, 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 mister. And then, of course, this Venom has to take one as well. <laughs> he also fails. He's just very scared, this poor little Venom. Very, very scared. How dare you kill my other Archon? Okay, let's go into the movement phase. I don't really need to pull up my Mandrakes. I think they're just gonna... Kind of, you know what? I will pull the Mandrakes up. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> My mandrakes are coming off the table. Did you take a battle shock for the guys behind? Oh, is there a dude yeah. back there? Yeah, there are dudes back there. They are also battle shock. Ooh, that would have been more spicy, but that's yeah. fine. Yeah, well, killing an archon's not a bad idea. Yeah. Then again, leadership six on old dark elder is pretty dang good. I do have to bring in my reserves one more time, but you have already done your reserves. I have. So uh, it's all about trying to score primary at this point and just trying to make sure I press buttons. I have to kill one more to max out my bring it down. Can you do it? Uh, can I do it? We'll see. We'll find out, won't we? And uh, good thing I have two CP too, which is exciting. Okay, let's move on. End of my movement phase. I uh, decided to disembark the Cabalites from that Venom to go here so they can get in range of both of them. Lilith is going to go in charge. She doesn't have... Uh, Lance right now because I wasn't able to get back into a transport. However, they've moved up to shoot this. They've moved up to shoot that or that one. They came in from strategic reserves. I'm still going to put all my mandrakes right here so they can just shoot at that one. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then the Kronos is sitting around to give everybody pain token shenanigans. And then the Talos is going to potentially go for a long charge. Yeah. And then I put 10 OC on here just to make sure that you don't get a 10. I don't like you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try as best I can to stop you from scoring any points whatsoever. No points for you. <laughs> and then they're going to be able to shoot and scoot. But I needed to start moving this way as well in case those come around this way. So I have something else that can kind of threaten that objective. I was moving to the late game, and then they can kind of swing around that way. So I needed to split up the Venoms. So you don't have any more reserves, so I don't have to worry about screening my backboard. And I've stickied both of my objectives. And I'm just starting to keeping the line up so that it's hard for you to get onto my objectives. All right, let's do some shooting. And here we go. So end of the turn, I was able to kill that. He actually rotated shield and didn't make Failed a single save. That was just unfortunate. So that brigand died. The carnivore died as well to the last couple of shots that I had there. So I didn't have to charge in with the witches. And then that unit of scourge put five damage on one of the carnivores at the back. So with that, let's go to the scoreboard. But this is definitely... Very much Drukari in control of this game. Mm -hmm. um, so I do get a, another, so I get three and then five. You're at 32. Yep, 32 points. That means that I just have two more deploy teleport homers to do, and then I pretty much maxed that out. And then with going into your turn three, I get a command point, go up to three. You get a command point, go up to one, and you get another five points on primary because I can't take your home objective away. Yep yet okay and that's that turn number three let's see what the knights can do as they try and get as many points as they can what cards do they do they, draw they this are turn? going to be tempting target okay which will be my Over there. Yep. one yep. yep and secure no man's land uh so hold two objectives in no man's land uh possible because yeah, you can charge into them and I'll just kill one. them all there um, and that's a mid, you can get a mini one as well. But when you're playing differential scoring, it's very important to try to get as many points as you can, even if it's going south, trying to get more than 50 points. Like that's the key is if you can score more than 50, you at least get one point, even if it's like a terrible, like the game's just going south. Especially so, since you've maxed your bring it down. Correct. There's a, killing the tanks doesn't give me any more points. It's just about deploying teleport homers and my primary score. And that's all that I can really do. Uh, yeah. Uh, preserving resources is the name of the game right now. I have four knights left. 
So we're hiding. We're going to hide and shoot. Mm -hmm. We're going to hide as best we can, shoot there, and we're going to charge and kill some guys. Just take you off an objective. Yep. You're still going to get three, um, but I need to secure no man's land. So, Yep, makes sense. So with that, we'll come back. End of the shooting and fight. You did charge in, kill all the Cabalites, and then pile into the Mandrakes to stop them from jumping up into the sky and forcing them to fall back. Uh, you did kill the Talus with the uh, Maltus and the Gallican. That was very good. You also killed three of these Scourge back here um, with Havoc Launchers and one Cabalite back there with the Havoc Launchers as well. So with that, let's go to the scoreboard. You do get Secure Nomazan for two points, bringing you up to 20 secondary points. You do get, uh, you're going to discard attempting target. I will. So that you can get a command point, bringing you up to two command points. With that, we move on to battle round number four. I will get a CP, so I go up to four now. You get a CP, go up to three. And I get a 15 point a, primary. Looking bad for Jeff here. Going to 35 points. And I don't have to worry about my secondaries. I literally just have to move into the deployment zone and press buttons. Got a couple of battle shock tests to make, and then we'll come back off the movement. End of the movement phase. Uh, so I got the witches into the raiders. So I got Lilith and the lance weapons and stuff for turn number five um, out of raider, unless the raider dies, of course. And then I basically moved around, fell back with these mandrakes. Uh, that venom moved forward with the cabalites, just getting aggressive here, putting some threat on that, putting some threat on this. The raiders in the deployment zone. So the raiders actually going to be doing deploy teleport homers. We've got a couple of lances and cabalites that can see the brigand back there, and then a couple of dark lances here that can see that carnivore as well as the venom. Don't I don't need to be on this objective. Don't forget the two oh, guys you did, I you killed. killed two guys with Overwatch because he wanted to try and stop the lances <laughs> from doing some work to you. And then these mandrakes just moved in here so they can see both of them. You can see this because you're touching the terrain, so I can see through it, which is how line of sight works there. So physical line of sight as well. Okay. So with that, let's do some paint tokens. Okay, so shooting, I did kill that with like a Dark Lance. I put a couple of wounds on that Brigand, but he's still alive. And then this guy has three wounds left. I've grenaded him, I've shot him, I've done all that. You've got one invulnerable save to make on a Dark, dark lance, lance, which will kill him. Which would kill him. Come on, okay. Dan it, Red Dragon. <laughs> yes! Nah, boo! I love you, Dan! <laughs> yeah, okay, so he lives. Sad face. Uh, I did get a paint token for killing a Okay, so with that, that's it. I will get four more points. Uh, they're just going to hop back into the transport because they can and because they're awesome. And uh, I will essentially go up to 36 here, one more secondary away, and that is that for that. Okay, so your turn four, you get a CP. Right. I get a CP. And what do you have? Defense, Defense stronghold. stronghold. Engage in all fronts. Okay. Fantastic. You do go up to 15, however. Excellent. And you could use a CP to redraw one of them if you so wished as well. End of the movement phase. So what's your thought process here? Uh, I need to set myself up for turn five holding two objectives. Um, if I stay behind here, witches just come out and take this away from me. I lose defense stronghold. I then have to fight on my home objective and I'm not getting two objectives on turn five. So instead, I need to get ag aggressive this turn. You got aggressive with the carnivore. Uh, I did reactionary move the, yep. the raider back six inches to make that charge a little harder. And then, of course, you did move that guy up as well. So with that, you've got some shooting. Got just some trying shooting. to... I've got lots of little units of stuff just flying everywhere and doing stuff. I have a total of 15 wounds left on the table. I love it. Recap time. So you did have to spend a command point to auto, uh, to auto pass his uh so that he wouldn't uh so you could hold your uh, defense stronghold uh that does mean you don't have terror shades or you can't move through sorry i don't know what the name of that strat is um it's the charge through wall strat <laughs> you did completely destroy that venom and then almost all the cabalite warriors three died in the explosion then top hats like little havoc launchers kind of killed the other one and you still have him and you have him so you're going to do some charges you're going to just try to get in do some damage and yep. uh and then basically roll saves next turn you got it. I'm gonna you're, pitch defend. You're gonna pitch defend. Okay. Because you're gonna come take it away. Yeah, you're not you're gonna you don't wanna get rid of engage as well. I'm gonna pitch both of them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he moved up, charged, killed, he actually made a 10-inch charge, killed the Kronos. 
Uh, he charged a little cab light because you didn't want me to have grenades in this part of the table other than with the scourge. So you killed him as well. So kill two more of my two more of my units. You are going to get rid of both so yep. that uh, you get a command point. Bring it up to one. Um, you did not score. I forgot to put primary last turn for you. I will get a command point going into turn number five. You will get a command point as well. I will be pulling my mandrakes up just so I can put them wherever I want, and I will max out my primary with a 50. I have to do one more for secondaries, which is one more press buttons. I do owe you a couple of battle shock tests, and then we'll come back. But Lilith is probably going to get aggressive and go try and kill your home objective. That's why I got rid of Defend Strong. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly right. And then we'll see what we can do with him, and then potentially him. You overwatched one of my Scourge to death. Uh, That's by right. one, one whole unit to death with that. So no grenades over here, which just makes me sad. This Venom did move up. All the Mandrakes have popped down here so they can shoot that one or that one. And then this unit of Scourge can see him. And then the Witches have just moved up. The Raider has moved up to press buttons. And then I have... <laughs> I've got my little Cavalite squad there as well. I have one TP, so I don't know what I'll use it for. Uh, but let's... I put a painting Not on, on them. There. Yeah, that's right. I can't do grenades over there, but I can do grenades with uh, Lilith and friends. So with that, let's do some shooting. <laughs> yes, dude. Okay, okay, okay. So the one Dark Lance went through. You rotated Iron Shields. I Failed. killed it. Seven wounds. Done. It just died. You did eight wounds. I did eight wounds. Sorry. My Dark Lance rolled max and killed the Carnivore through an Iron Shield. Then all 30 shots from Mandrakes did three dev wounds to the guy that was through. Exactly wounded. enough to kill it. Just dead. Um, and now we've got, I'm going to spend my CP to grenade that last little uh, guy before I shoot him. Five wounds left. Uh, yep, that's right. Five wounds left on fours. Five four ups, and then I don't have to roll any more dice this game. Oh, oh my yeah. god! <laughs> Does he Does explode? explode? No. Yeah, that's right. Dead. Okay, so with that, let's go to the scoreboard over here. That will give me my 40 here. Um, I don't know if there's any cards you can score, um, but let's let's flip them over <laughs> and see what you have. One CP. No. Can I can I can I do either of those? You cannot no do either of those. No primary there, so you will stop at 30, 45, 45 points to my one hundred points. Well, Jeff, we'll come back with an off action report. Sad. And that's game. Yeah. Bad touch. <laughs> Uh, going first actually really helps in this yeah. matchup, yeah. especially because I can shove those beast packs like right in your face. Yeah, you keep and me locked then... into the zone. I can't. You I... didn't like leave your deployment zone. I didn't. Like till turn like three or four. You didn't let me. That's right. The Lancer tried. The Lancer tried. Well, he, he did. <laughs> he did. And then he got he murdered. Valiantly left. Uh, you did right. You kill all the haywire early, which was good. But then every once in a while, those dark lances, like one will go through and do so much damage. I rotated three or four times and never made a single four up. Nope. No, I think you did one time, but it was like no, irrelevant. No, it didn't matter. It yeah. didn't matter. Yeah, it was irrelevant. Um, I really like my list. And I, I, the Chaos Knights, this is just a bad matchup for them, it I is. think, personally. Because I have so many little units. And because I can pick fixed and I can just do the secondaries, it's yeah. very hard to like score points against it. Because I don't really have to do anything other than kill one knight at a time. And then just like focus on it, kill it, move on, and then try and press buttons. My army really likes to exist in the middle of the table. Um, so when you can stop me from two turns of existing in the middle of the table where I want to be, start affecting you with my auras, start charging where I need to charge, it, it hurts. I like, I like, I can't, I need to get board position and, uh, you smartly let me not do that. Yep. And then, uh, and then you kept one in reserve, which you smartly brought in early, or I could have made sure it just didn't <laughs> come in on turn three. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was good on you. Okay. Well, with that, thanks a lot for coming down, Jeff. That was I really love fun. You, bud. We'll, uh, we'll have a good one. Thanks a lot to all of you and the channel Patreons for liking, sharing, leaving comments. If you'd like to support the channel and help me create more content like this, you can also come up to Barrie, Ontario. On your days off from work. Canada on a Monday and film a bat rip with me. That's right. Huge shout out to Wayland Utani. Thank you so much, Isaac, for uh, the train. It's really awesome. You can get like a 5 or 10% discount using the code um, and the link in the description. It's good stuff. Yeah, I like it. Professional WTC array. And the map, too, which is really cool. With all the markings. The Plymouth Zone maps? So good. So good. Other than that, thanks a lot, everybody, for hanging out. Bye-bye. Ah, the Dark Kin. Me. Not him. Me.